in this tutorial i'll show you how to make this faq section using elementor all right so here you can as you can see here this is the faq section i am using only elementor free version yes there is only elementor free version i am using there is no need of elementor pro but if you have not elementor pro you have missed lots of features so you can download the elementor from our description you will get the discount so let's continue with our video that here is the faq section i am already opened a questions like here so if i click on it so it will open up like this and if i uh, click on one by one like this the same way we can create this all question and answer in the faq section and elementor so in this video we'll see that how you can make this with elementor so let's go to the wordpress dashboard here and i'm using this elementor free version as you can see here and here I have already made this so let's delete it and made it from scratch so I'm updating this page and now it is only blank canvas so I'm using this elementor canvas here the, on the gear icon you can see this page layout elementor canvas also you can use your own page there's no problem here it's easy to use and I urge your requirement you can use it but the way is same to create this okay so let's first start with this plus icon here you have to click on this plus icon here and let's select this direction column and click on this six dot icon then minimum height will be i'm giving in vh and increase the scroll bar to 100 so that it will fit to the screen now let's style it so go to the style tab and from the background let's select a color with uh, i'm selecting this blue color this type of blue color okay let's select this one that's looking good so let's click on update okay next go to the layout and i'm selecting this justify content to center and align items to center so that whenever i place any item so it will keep on centering like it so if i place just a icon here container so i place a container and it will be on center but by the way if you have not used this flexbox container if you have not seen this so i think you have turned off your flexbox container so if you turn on if you want that then go to the wordpress dashboard here so like suppose you are you are on wordpress dashboard like this so go to this uh, elementor this elementor and then settings and then go to the features this features tab scroll down a little bit and after scroll down you will see this flexbox container so by default it will get on default so you don't have to worry about the activation but if you would have not if you just uh, click on inactivate it so it will deactivate but it will always must be have on active then click on save changes and you can use this flexbox container so i just did some changes so that's why I click on updates and then let's start making this faq section so at first i am selecting this heading here uh, to make to the website looking nice so let's select this as faq and alignment will be center go to the style tab text color will be i am already selected this theme accent color so let's select it typography i am selecting this poppins font here and then a size will be i am selecting 75 pixel and weight will be uh, like 800 okay now it's looking good let's leave it now place one another container here so place it like it also you can uh, directly place place this uh, accordion section i mean a figure section but uh, if you want to add any images like i am just telling you has the container drag and drop it like it but if you want to add any images so here is the edit the container so let's select it place another container here so here's the container and now if you want to duplicate it like it sorry i think i have already placed another yes so let's duplicate it here and now as you can see this is one by one so let's select this parent container here and then direction will be this row horizontal so now you can place one image also here's the image and here's is the faq section you can make but uh, i am already uh, told you that i will make the section in the, i will show you the overview so I, I just made with this simple so let's select this edit container and delete it and directly paste the uh, faq section so to create the faq section we need to place the accordion tab so here's the element from element bar all the elements so i, I just uh, search type here a cc i mean accordion i typed 
so here's the toggle button also you can use the accordion but i think almost the same way you can almost the same that works but uh, let's use the accordion tab place it like it drag and drop here and now you will see like this option so let's uh, first delete this item and then go to the style tab let's uh, first style it then we will duplicate one by one all right okay let's go to the style tab here is the border width so you can give the border so let's increase it to two and border color will be i'm giving this color so if i just uh, close it like this you can see this is the border color you will can get but if you don't want to use it just give the value to zero all right okay let's i think you can use it so let's select it as two next we have our this title so let's select it and background color i don't want to use any background color so let's as it is default then this color section i mean this title this title color is looking green i mean it is the active color so i don't want to use this color so let's select it and make it to theme accent color and also if i just close it it will automatically uh, move to the this sky blue color so let's select it and make it to theme accent okay now let's move to this uh, section i mean this icon part has the icon so you can also change the icon you can change the alignment also it is uh, making in default at the start but if you want to change it so like click on it and you can see this uh, icon is now placed on the right side so you can also change the color this color so let's select this color and let's select this theme color and from the active part i want to select this color as a white color okay now as you can see this just if i uh, click on white and you can see this white color is now um, just presented so you can keep maintain the spacing but uh, as i already placed this with the right corner so here don't have to worry about the spacing next we have our content so let's click on it and here's the content color you can see this lorem ipsum dollar so you have to uh, just select the color with this white theme i am selecting this white color pure white color next typography let's select this uh, typography as a poppins font as the poppins font and select it size with this 16 pixel it's looking good i think we just forgot to uh, give the typography font to poppins on the title so let's do this here now as you can see it's looking cool so here we have just changes with the style tab and let's change our content one by one so if i just click on the content and the again content has the item so click on this item and you will see like this okay here's the title we can change it so i already have our my content so we can use it so i just made it for suppose you can use it your azure e-commerce website so you you should have this question like what countries do you ship to so you can uh, use this faq so all right so that's why i just uh, made this faq so now if i just click on this let's preview it just click on update button don't forget to click on this update button after doing some changes so if i just preview you can see uh, this all uh, settings and i think we should give some uh, minimum padding to the title so let's go to the advanced tab and i'll link this more margin and let's select the 50 pixel bottom i think it's looking good now it's look good so here's the uh, preview so if i click on it so it will open up with the white text and this icon will be also make made to white and if i close it so it will go to the plus icon so if you want to change the icon also go to the content and uh, here from this sorry i think we have to change the icon so click on it and then uh, this icon so icon part here's the icon library so i want to uh, select this carrot down so let's insert it as a default icon if i click on it you can see this icon and as an active icon i want to select this carrot up okay now update it and if i just preview it so as you can see here this is the default icon so uh, this is the carrot down with yellow color if i click on it then it will change to the white color with the white text so i think it's look good so let's uh, copy it so you can copy like this here you can copy like this so i just show you how you can change the title and how you can change the paragraph i mean a question this is the question and you can change the, this answer i just show you this question answer so you can uh, just put your own uh, requirements with text and question. questions i don't want to show you with the repeat same and same 
so let's uh, close this here uh, update it and click on this preview icon and here's our FAQ section looks like so here's how you can create this FAQ section using Elementor hope you learned something new today by the way I have made a digital agency website using Elementor so you can click on this video and enjoy the tutorial